Hi friends, today we look at the lesson uh, I have a dream. I have a dream is a speech was delivered by Martin Luther King. About the author, Martin Luther King was born in 1929 to 1968. He was a freedom fighter all through his life. In fact, he had dedicated his lifetime for the freedom of the blacks for he was deeply hurt on seeing the misery of his fellow men. Martin Luther King was an African American minister and activist who became the most visible spokesperson and leader in the civil rights movement from 1955 until his assassination in 1968. Let me see about the movement. The African American civil rights movements It was in 1954 to 1968 it encompasses social movements in the united states whose goal was to end racial discrimination against black americans the main aim of the movement is it enforced constitutional voting rights for both black and, uh, and negroes he was an orator and thus instigated for reform through non-violent means though he was arrested and imprisoned several times he was awarded the nobel peace prize in 1964 he was assassinated in memphis tennessee on april 4 1968 when he was about to organize a peace people's march in washington let me see his some key notes about the text Uh, the speech was delivered in 1963 and was attended by a very huge gathering of 250,000 Americans of different faiths and races and creeds though he himself had expected only 1 lakh people it was very powerful and moving speech in which the speaker called for an end to racism in the united states an article in the boston globe reported the king's speech caught the mood and moved the crowd of the day as no other speaker in the world in this speech i have a dream the first half portrays a picture of racial injustice in america and the second half of the speech paints a dream of a better fairer future of racial harmony and integration martin luther king dedicated his lifetime for the freedom of the blacks he was deeply hurt on seeing the misery of his fellow men I have a dream is a speech delivered in 1963 and was attended by a very huge gathering of 250,000 Americans of different races. This speech called for an end to racism in the United States. Martin Luther King begins by mentioning the Emancipation Proclamation signed by the Abraham Lincoln 100 years ago. The proclamation serves as a light to the negro slaves but the proclamation was like to useless promissory note which cannot be encased even after the proclamation the negroes were not granted rights martin luther king considers gradual freedom as a tranquilizer which slows down their fight he asked them not to rest until they granted all their citizenship rights he also warns the government that the brilliance of revolt will rock the country if their demands are not met in the second part of his address martin luther king stresses that the means should be possible at the end he insists the negroes not to practice wrongful deeds to gain their rightful place they should oppose the government with their sole force they should regard the white as their brothers as many have helped them throughout the negro should not be satisfied with marginal success negroes all over america are beaten up in the prisons martin luther king's dream is that all men are created equal so they should be treated equally he dreams that the next generation will treat slave sons and son of a slave owners equally finally using biblical image king says that he dreams of high mountains that will be made low and valleys be raised high he says that in future the blacks and the whites will join together and form a harmonious society he concludes with the phrase free at last finally the theme of the speech is all the people have been created equal no one is superior to other on the basis of color and caste his speech emphasizes that there should be no racial discrimination in the society
ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ்